As reported by Ram Reports, Iran has recently installed several Russian long-range electronic warfare systems, including the Murmansk BN, in strategic locations across the country. Follow Army Recognition Media Outlet recalls that the Murmansk BN system, one of Russia's most powerful jamming communication systems, can conduct radio reconnaissance, intercept and suppress enemy signals throughout the short wave range with an operational reach of up to 5,000 to 8,000 kilometers. This installation comes amid rising tensions with Israel following the assassination of Hamas political bureau chief Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran. According to the Israeli news service Channel 14, Russia has transferred Iskander missile systems to its Iranian allies. The weapons were transferred using an IL-76 military transport aircraft, which has made multiple flights from Russia to Iran. Army recognition says that the latest report about Iran's deployment of the Mamansk BN system emerged after continuous flights of Russian transport aircraft between Russia and Iran were observed through flight tracking applications such as flight radar. These flights are suspected of transporting various unknown weapons systems to Iran. The Mamansk BN system is not only the most powerful electronic warfare system in the Russian military, but also one of the most advanced globally. It can jam and intercept enemy radio signals, GPS, communications and satellite systems, rendering smart munitions and drone systems ineffective. The Mamansk BN is an electronic warfare system developed by the Russian company Kret, intended for long-range communications jamming. It was introduced into service in 2014 and is designed to disrupt NATO and US high-frequency military satellite communications. The system includes multiple vehicle-mounted antenna masts, using Kamaz trucks and trailers, each extended up to 32 meters, covering an area of 640,000 square kilometers. Deployment time is 72 hours, and it has impacted U.S. stealth fighter operations over the Black and Baltic Seas by interfering with their avionics. The system operates as part of a network-centric capability within the Russian Electronic Warfare Command and Control System. Recently, OSINT Defender reported that during a meeting with military and defense officials, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu discussed a potential preemptive strike against Iran. Such a strike would only be authorized if there was definite intelligence confirming that Iran was about to launch an attack against Israel. Meanwhile, the White House is reportedly in the final stages of approving a shipment of 1,800 Mark 84, 2,000-pound bombs to Israel. This shipment had been withheld for months following the Israeli invasion of Rafah in southern Gaza. However, half of the shipment, consisting of 1,700 Mark 82, 500-pound bombs, had already received approval from the Biden administration in early July. These munitions will be crucial for the Israeli Air Force if a full-scale war breaks out with Hezbollah or Iran. The Israeli Defense Forces remain on high alert, intercepting numerous rockets and drones launched from Lebanon by Hezbollah. The Institute for the Study of War, ISW, reports that Russia's readiness to provide weapons to Yemeni Houthis demonstrates Vladimir Putin's desire to pressure the West into abandoning support for Ukraine while also revealing Russia's growing dependence on Iran for high-precision weapons and components. According to CNN sources, the Kremlin planned to transfer missiles and other military equipment to Houthis in Yemen but did not follow through after diplomatic pressure. The ISW states that Russia's reported plan highlights its growing military partnership with Iran and suggests that Russia likely aims to leverage Iranian proxies to indirectly confront the West and shape Western decision-making. The analysts note this aligns with Russian information operations aimed at encouraging Western self-deterrence from supporting Ukraine over fears of confrontation with Russia. Putin's willingness to consider supporting the Houthis as they attack Israel and international shipping is part of deepening Russian-Iranian military cooperation and Russia's increasing reliance on Iran for high-precision weapons and components, the ISW reports. 
Increased Russian willingness to use Iran and its proxies to indirectly confront the West will disrupt Russian attempts to portray Russian foreign policy in the Middle East as balanced and may further complicate Russian relations with countries concerned about Russian-Iranian cooperation. According to CNN, citing U.S. officials and other sources, Russia was preparing to deliver missiles and other military equipment to the Houthis in late July 2024. U.S. officials said they were unsure, unsure whether Saudi Arabia's protests were the determining factor in halting the planned transfer. CNN sources said at least three Russian military officers visited Yemen in late July 2024 to advise the Houthis and possibly help them conduct live fire exercises, which the Houthis later cancelled.